In this video, we're going to talk about Ninja Traders 8 playback feature. I have to do an update video as things have changed. I do have an older video showing you guys how to use Ninja Trader playback on older versions. But since Ninja Trader has updated their platform, they have made some changes. So let's first talk about how do we connect to playback data? Well, first, what we have to do is go ahead and disconnect from our live data feed. If you are connected to your live data feed, Next, go ahead and connect to playback connections. And right here, this is gonna be one of two ways in which we can download replay data. So we can essentially go right over here. We'll select the S&P 500 and we'll go ahead and download the 10th. So July 10th, I'll click download. Once you see it done downloading right here, we will be you know, just fine and dandy. I am gonna show you guys an alternative way. So I'm gonna share with you guys three different ways to download replay data within this video. Now we can go ahead and select continue. Now I'm gonna show you guys what playback data is, and then I'm gonna show you guys the other two ways to download the data. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select, I'm gonna click right click on the control head, go to right here. I'm gonna select July 10th, and I'm gonna go ahead and make it 9 a.m. or we'll say 9.30 real quick to get right there when the US opens where we get volatility in the market. We'll click okay. All right, so here we go. All we have to do is click play and now we'll see the market moving. Now from this, I can simply buy the market if I want. And what is beautiful about playback data is when the market is closed, we can essentially trade in a simulated environment. So any money made or lost during this time period will not matter. If we wanna speed things up, we just click on this right here and it speeds up the control head so we can see what the result of the trade is relatively quick. If we need to pause it, we can hit the pause button. And what this allows you to do is go back and trade on historical data and work on the skill of trading. Now, unfortunately for me in this example, $1,250, I do not get to keep. All right, I know it's a bummer, it's a, it's a sad day, but it is what it is. Now, let's talk about how to download NinjaTrader another way. From here, we need to go to the control panel right here, go to tools, go to historical data. Now, once it populates this window, you don't wanna get messed up and click right here where it says download. You actually wanna to go to get market replay data. And then just like we did previously, you're gonna go ahead and select the instrument. In this example, I'll do the S&P 500. Now I'll do July 7th. Now what you may see is this box is grayed out and it's for one very simple reason. Under connections, we are still connected to playback data. You cannot download playback data while you are connected to playback data. So now we can see this box is not highlighted in gray. We can click download. Once it goes back to the normal color, then we know the download data has already been downloaded to the platform. Next, we're gonna talk about the third way in which we can download replay data. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this box. And what you need to do now, if you have a trader funding account where they give you data or you have a live trading account. Now for this example, I'm gonna to connect to my live data connection right here. And like I said, if you have Apex um, or some other trader funded trading program, they give you rhythmic data, you can do this same technique here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click data series. And I'm gonna go back the last, we'll say 10 days. Click apply, click okay. And now I'm gonna right click on the chart. I'm gonna click reload historical data. All right, so now what this did is it just grabbed 10 days of historical data. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right over here to the control head. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from my data connection. Next, I'm gonna reconnect to the playback data. And I can simply click OK from here or click continue from here. Now, if we go to the playhead, remember, we downloaded 10 days of data. As I'm recording this video, it is July 11th. Now, as you just saw, we downloaded roughly 10 days of historical data. Now, for example, if you didn't want to trade in July and you wanted to you know, have the control head go back to an earlier date, you just simply click over here. You could select that date, click over here. Now it would try to load the data. Now, let's go ahead and try this. All right, we're going to click go to. And let's see if we can select one of those dates and we're gonna go back to July. All right, we're right here on the 11th. Let's go back and actually go back and see, can we trade on the 5th? I'm gonna go ahead and put this again at 9.30 a.m. Now we have the data populated. I'm gonna go ahead and click play. And one thing you'll notice right over here on the right hand side, you'll notice the bid and the ask where it says A and B have zero. That means you have zero data. But Mike, you just told us, that, told us that we could get data for that date. You can, but if you're gonna use historical data, 
right over here on this control playhead, you need to select historical data right here in this box. Now what we'll do is we'll go right back to that same date, hit go to, and we're gonna go to July 5th. We're gonna go back to 9.30 a.m. And then we're gonna go ahead and click play. We'll do 9.31 just to make it simple. We're gonna click play. And what do you know? We have data over in this area now on the chart. There you go, you can see price moving. We can now place orders if we choose to. And, and keep in mind, the benefit of playback isn't necessarily to make a million dollars. But you know the, the, the benefit is, let's say that we lost money on this trade. All right, right now we are currently up, I'll close it out. But let's say we would have lost money. That money would not be real money. Just like the money I just made is fake money. If we simply wind the control head back a little bit, all right, we'll go back just a smidge just a smidge right there and what you'll see is the balance starts back over from zero so if you're trying to develop your skill of trading this is a very valuable tool this alone is what caused me to switch from my prior trading platform to coming over and making ninja trader my preferred trading platform that i use on a daily basis and i still use the replay data on a weekly basis this is what this is one amazing tool that ninja trader has created for us now if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below give the video a big thumbs up and if you want to watch more ninja trader 8 tutorials check out this next playlist